<clears throat> All right. Hey, everybody, it's Britta Dimmler, and we are talking tonight about gardening. And I do not have the gardening experience, so I brought in someone who I consider more, much more of an expert than me. And, and she's coming to us live all the way from Nebraska. And so this is Patsy Mettenbrink and um, I am just gonna turn it over to her. She's going to share a lots of knowledge and I'm sure you, you will get lots of fun tips. So Patsy, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to see people joining us this evening. Um, I don't wanna take much of your time. Time is very precious these days especially because you can have, still have sunlight to go outside and work in your garden. So first things first, we're gonna share a disclosure from Young Living. Uh, the opinions expressed in this presentation are solely my own and or our own and do not express the views or opinions of Young Living. Young Living does not endorse, is not responsible for, and makes no representations or warranties regarding such content for its accuracy. We encourage you to verify the explanations and opinions that are presented. Young Living shall not be or uh, held liable for any harm resulting from or in connection with reliance on such content. The first thing we're gonna discuss is seed to seal. I'm sure quite a few people, if you're familiar with Young Living or familiar with our seed to seal policy, this is hugely important. Well, why? Well, FDA has almost no regulations or safety measures on the essential oil industry. Oils found in drug stores, big box stores, online, and either other oil companies have been tested and they have found to have harsh synthetic fillers and chemicals in them. It's basically cheap perfume grade oils that are distilled at high temperatures and pressure, and usually they're cut with chemical solvents. This yields an, an, an adulterated oil that can still be labeled as 100% pure, even if it has just five drops in there which in my opinion is a hugely scary thing. Well, Young Living has decided to rise above that and they have created their own strict guidelines to ensure purity it is called the seed distilled quality commitment. They abide by very strict guidelines to fulfill their promises and sending only the best products into your home. They have the plant material that is grown on corporately owned farms or carefully vetted partner farms all around the world and you can go visit those and plant while you're there and help with the harvest. Uh, sustainable farming and sourcing practices provide the purest of oils. Great care has been taken to preserve and protect natural resources. The fields are hand weeded and they also utilize weed grazing sheep and they use zero pesticides. The oils all are going to retain their natural constituents and therapeutic properties. They use food grade distilleries or stainless steel, and they use state-of-the-art design with distillation methods. There's low pressure methods and there's low temperature distillation. And there's also cold, pre cold pressing with our citrus oils without the use of solvents and synthetic chemicals. There's rigorous testing that's done on each batch by our internal laboratories and also third-party facilities. Oils are carefully reviewed through every stage of the process in order to meet or exceed the industry safety and purity standards. We're way beyond organic. The best part, the oils do not meet, if they don't meet the high standards that Young Living has set forth, they are rejected. They are not bottled as Young Living products. So y'all can sleep good tonight knowing that you're getting the absolute best when you're using Young Living products. You can check out more information about Young Living Seed to Seal at www.seedtoseal.com. Using Young Living products in the gardening process will help gardeners in a way that is gonna result in beautiful fruits and vegetables, knowing you've lovingly cared for them in the most above organic ways. And you can achieve, achieve this affordably, sustainably, and without the use of harsh chemicals. It's a great process, friends. Uh, soil health is very important in the growing of all plants. Avoid using toxic chemicals and sprays. We want you to use organic fertilizers and generous amounts of organic mulch that builds the soil health and also helps to pre preserve and conserve the moisture. Moisture is very important when you're gardening. Well, we're almost to the middle point of June and most of the gardens have been planted uh, and soon we're gonna be getting ready to start harvesting the fruits of your labor. We know that there's so much physical labor involved from hoeing, 
hand weeding, dragging around all those water hoses. And luckily for us, that Young Living has some great supplements to support our systems. The first one that I like to give a shout out about is Nengja Red, the powerhouse nutrient, oxidants, antioxidants, and nutrients. It's a whole body supplement and it supports and benefits our energy levels, normal, normal cellular function, eye health, and support an all over wellness for our bodies. The wolfberry or the goji berry is touted for having very high antioxidant properties. It is one of the highest percentages of fiber of any whole food and contains the anthem, a carotenoid important to maintaining healthy vision. I can testify for that as well as my optometrist. It also contains polysaccharides, amino acids, and a symbiotic vitamin mineral pairing when presented together promotes optimum internal absorption. By using the whole wolfberry puree, Young Living is able to maintain more of the desired health supporting benefits in every single bottle. The wolfberries in exotic fruits such as blueberries, cherries, aronia, pomegranate, and plum give Ninja Red its delicious fruit flavor. The orange, yuzu, lemon, and tangerine essential oils contain the D-lemonine, which is a very powerful wellness promoting constituent. Four ounces of our Ninja Red is equal to one serving of fruit. However, one ounce has the highest antioxidant equivalent to eating four pounds of carrots or eight whole oranges. So a daily shot of two to four ounces a day is gonna help support your overall wellness and with all these powerful antioxidants. And it's gonna give you a good jolt for when you need to get out and start gardening bright and early. Good way to start your day off. If you need a little or a lot of extra help like me with mobility, Agile Ease is another support system that you can take and knock that inflammation to the curb. You're gonna have healthy response into your joints. It helps with cartilage and along with mobility and flexibility through reduction of all the inflammation. Young Living uses a unique and powerful ingredient such as frankincense powder, undenatured collagen, polyuronic acid, calcium fructivore, and a specially formulated proprietary essential blend of wintergreen, copaiba, clove, and northern lights, black spruce, oils that are known for their joint health benefits. So you can take Agilis to support, support your joint health and use as a preventative measure to protect your joints and cartilage and help ease joint discomfort and improve your quality of life. Well, it's no secret that bugs can totally ruin our gardening plans from eating our plants or taking bites out of us. They can just put a dampering on gardening altogether. Um, sometimes they have driven me out of the garden into the house. Um, I have really um, drastic reactions to certain bites. So you can use insecticides or sprays made from harsh chemicals, but certainly at a cost to you and to our environment. This will lead to bioaccumulation of toxins into your body and even in the plants. And this can be linked to chronic illnesses and disease. No, thank you. Uh, fortunately, Young Living has released an insect repellent that has been tested to repel mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, and it's 100% naturally derived plant-based ingredients. Your sesame oil and a carefully selected blend of essential oils uh, tradi traditionally used for the bug repellent properties come together to make up all 99% of the active ingredients in this formulation. So you're probably wondering 99, where's the other 1%? Well, that's vitamin E oil. So that means you can use it even on your little ones and you're not gonna have to worry about synthetic chemicals that are used in so many traditional repellents. <clears throat> you're gonna also love the very pleasant citrusy aroma and the smooth, non-sticky application. I love the fact that the company has recently created also packaged convenient insect repellent wipes. The, I can feel confident that I'm not exposing myself or the grandkids to DEET or any other harsh chemicals. And they're easily able to be used for more than one use. It's great to know that our next outdoor adventure is gonna be comfortable, natural, and annoyance free. Some people are kind of the DIY people. So there's an outdoor spray recipe that can be used on yourself and also your plants. That's pretty convenient. So you can start with two ounces of witch hazel, 
I prefer Grey Goose, two ounces of distilled water, 20 drops of thieves, 20 drops of lemon, 20 drops of rosemary, and 20 drops of citronella. You can put those all in a four ounce glass spray bottle and shake it up before you use it. Keep in mind that you should spritz this on your plants in the evening or in the early morning before the sun starts. Um, when the sun starts to come out and then get an intensity of the day, if you're using it on your plants, you have the chance and more than likely you will burn the leaves of your plant because of the water and the radiation from the sun will cause burning. So we want to keep the plants safe and protected as much as possible. So again, use during the cool evening and early morning. Speaking of the sun and its powerful rays, don't forget to protect yourself as well on your exposed skin. Young Living's mineral sunscreen has SPF of 50 and that has expanded the over-counter line now and it's new option with sun protection. The natural sunscreen is free from harsh chemicals, making it the healthy, healthy use for kids and adults as well. The hot summer sun is great and just don't get cooked. It's not good. But in case you do, Young Living has after sun spray lavaderm and the lavaderm itself. So we also need to stay hydrated. Make plenty, make sure that you're drinking plenty of water when you're outside and even before you go outside. When you're working in your garden, water's never tasted so good as with our Young Living's Vitality Drops. I personally love the grapefruit bergamot and the lavender lemonade is good too. The, these beverages are just taking it to the next level. The drops are formulated with naturally occurring electrolytes from the Great Salt Lake and natural flavors, including Vitality Essential Oils. So a few drops of the Young Living Vitality Drops are gonna keep you hydrated and feeling great. We have so many hours spent wasted on weeding. I've tried so many different ways to deter them. Newspapers and lots of water and mulch on top has been a godsend for me. Some are short enough that we sure don't need to spend unnecessary time dealing with the weed overgrowth. So if you're trying to get rid of unwanted plant growth that doesn't involve, <clears throat> excuse me, involve the harmful chemicals that are linked to neurological, hormone, and overall health imbalances, just know there are safe alternatives out there. <clears throat> excuse me, weeds hate cinnamon. I need a drink of my drops. Excuse me. So here's a good withering your unwanted plant spray. And this is just a simple one. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're gonna take 25 to 50 drops of cinnamon bark and put that into a four ounce glass spray bottle. Pop it off with distilled water. Shake it up and spray it on your offenders, getting the roots and the leaves, both tops and bottoms, and if you do it in the hot afternoon sun, you're gonna see them withering almost immediately. Sometimes unwanted friends will also begin to grow on our beloved plants. They cause poor growth, bad harvest, and even plant death. They block the pores or the stomata, which is responsible for the plant's transpiration. It will eventually choke the plant out completely. Is still vital nutrients from the plant and that will decrease significantly the amount of crop that you're going to harvest. We sure don't want that. So take time to clean your gardening tools after each use. So a quick spritz of the thief spray or take a bucket, fill with warm water and put a cap full of your thieves household cleaner in there. Dip your tools in there after every use and that's gonna prevent you from spreading unwanted friends. There's also a plant love spray, and that's 10 drops each of tea tree, peppermint, and citronella, also in a four ounce glass spray bottle. Top that off with distilled water, shake it and spray along the affected plants during your gardening chores. Again, we wanna do that in the evening and in the early morning. Now we're gonna talk about pollinators, kind of my favorite topic here. Do you know some of our plants actually self-pollinate? That means a 
fruit like pepper can stand on its own and it can produce its fruit. Male and female are both on the one plant, but not every plant does that. So they do need help and it's called cross-pollination between the male and the female plants. So our pollinators come into play here. We have bees, butterflies, moths, insects, and even some birds. They're gonna be what our gardens really need. Without them, you're gonna have measly harvest and be disappointed because all your hard work and keeping up with all that weeding did not have the results that you wanted to get the delicious produce. Pollinators are attracted to the smell of flowers and luckily some of our wonderful essential oils are distilled exactly from that flowers, so very convenient. You can create a spray using essential oils to spritz on your flowering buds in your garden to encourage pollinators to come in and get the job done for you. There's a pollinator party spray. You can take six to eight drops of lavender and orange essential oils, again in a four ounce spray bottle, top it off with your distilled water, shake, spray, and party with the pollinators. And again, caution, make sure that it's early morning and the late evening application so the sun's rays aren't gonna burn your plants. You can also spot, tense, spot test on sensitive plants also. <clears throat> the most wonderful time of the year is gonna be harvesting time and all our hard work and patience is finally gonna be paid off and we're gonna to get to pluck the delicious fresh fruit from the earth and eat to our heart's content. So if you're like me, sometimes that find that that fresh produce starts to go bad before we can even get to it with our bountiful harvest. Well, that's because the bacteria that rest on the fruit and it will not, it's gonna, the, once the plant has lost the fruit, you've harvested your fruit, it is no longer protecting the fruit. So once it's gone, the support from the plant, it cannot keep up with the bacterial barrage. Well, once again, Young Living to the rescue, they have an exclusive Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak and also the spray. You can use this for the very reason. So soaking the fruits, you're gonna loosen the dirt and the other crud and then just rinse it right down the drain. And if anybody has strawberries like Donna, and if you take your strawberries and put them in the colander and you soak them with the water, if you look at the, or in your bowl, and you look in the bottom of the bowl and you see all that dirt and you're going, whoa, some people don't even rinse their product. Okay, I digress, sorry. So you can make your own produce soak as well. Get a sink full of warm water and add several drops of the thieves or lemon essential oil. That's super simple. Uh, splash of white vinegar, rinse it around and you're good to go. And once we have our produce into our house, has anybody else noticed that long come those pesky little flying Nemesis. <laughs> so get rid of those little buggers. <laughs> get a diffuser going. You're going to put two drops of basil, two drops of peppermint, two drops of lavender, two drops of clove, and two drops of eucalyptus radiata. And put that in your diffuser and run that in diffuser and those little flying creatures will magically disappear. Another thing is to remember cleanliness. So keeping your storage containers clean is great for keeping away the um, products or keeping the products fresher longer. Thieves dish soap contains no sulfates, dyes, formaldehyde, phosphates, or synthetic perfumes, has a delightful citrus aroma. It's one of my favorite. And along with your containers, you got to think about your hands. And like food preparation, we need to have clean hands. So grab your thieves, cleaning soap your, and or the luscious lemon and wash your hands good before you go out to the garden. We know we love the, um, our plants because we're willing to break our backs, scrape our fingernails and uh, scrape our fingers, scrape our knees, get bit by bugs, attacked by roses, but we've got to give them the best chance they can have. And Young Living knows that we are just as important as our plants and that there are a whole host of products that will help us take care of ourselves also. 
Stiffness will be a thing of the past if you use deep relief, roll on, or even pan away. Just simply drop oil on your sore, stiff areas, and you're gonna have some wonderful relief. Young Living also has the Cool Azul Pain Relief Cream. I really enjoy that. It provides a cooling relief for minor, for minor muscle aches, joints, strains, bruises, and sprains. It's a plant-based formula that combines the power of wintergreen essential oil with Young Living's exclusive Cool Azul essential oil blend. Two powerful synergistic active ingredients. This cream will provide pain relieving benefits in two different ways. You have the methyl salicylate that is found in the wintergreen and that's gonna help alleviate the deep pain in your muscles and joints. And then you have the natural menthol that's found in peppermint that provides a cooling effect. If you need relief without the synthetic ingredients, those are the answers. And no gardener should be without lavender oil. It helps to clean, soothe minor skin irritations, so keep it on hand. It can also be soothing to the skin after a day in the sun, like in the after, after sun spray with lavender. And lavender lip balm should be close at hand to apply to your lips. And you can also apply the balms to your cuticles before you start working out in the soil. Make sure that you have a separate tube for your lips and a separate tube for your nails. Another little tip for cleaning your hands after you've washed with your thieves soap is to take a bar of thieves soap or the charcoal or the Mount Savory and grab the bar and take and scrape your fingernails down the bar. You're gonna get the soap underneath your fingernails and that's gonna make cleanup a whole lot easier when you come in after playing in the dirt in your garden all day. And if you forget to apply an outdoor spray, don't worry about it. The rollerball recipe that follows is gonna be soothing. The do-it-yourself soothing roll-on contains five drops of lavender, five drops of purification, three drops of peppermint, and a carrier oil of your choice. So I add the essential oils into a 10 milliliter roller, and then I fill the rest of it up with the Young Living's V6 vegetable complex. Or you can use your favorite carrier oil if you wanted to use like almond or avocado or the MCT, and apply that as often as you need. That really will take the sting out. I know I've gone over this quite fast, but <laughs> there is some benefit waiting to the end. <laughs> we know you're all sitting on the edge of your seat and you want to know how to get this stuff in your phone, into your house stat. Well, I'm gonna tell you how. Essential oil premium starter kit comes with the majority of the oils that we ta I talked about in the class. So you can be able to use them into your garden right away. You're gonna get 12 of the most popular oils, a gorgeous diffuser, Thief spray, waterless hand sanitizer, plus a sample of the super fruit packed drink Ninja Red, and a few other little goodies. There's a no string attached to full cell membership with Young Living. It's over a $434 value, and it's just $165 with shipping and tax. You will get access to incredible Facebook groups like DW Oil Hub and resources that are dedicated to helping you get the most out of your investment that you've spent besides ongoing training. There's also the loyalty program, and that's a good way to make sure that your gardening toolbox never goes empty. The wellness toolbox is a great plan. It's a monthly subscription program, lots and lots of perks. You get to choose what comes inside of your box and when it comes to your home every single month. You can leave it as you want once you got what you decided to get every month, or you can change it up. It's up to you. You can enroll in Essential Rewards Loyalty Program right away, and your starter kit could count as your first order. That means you're going to get freebies, which vary every single month, plus 
10% 10 10 back in reward points right away when you first sign up. And you can also choose the basic starter kit for $25, and then you can add different oils or supplements of your choosing to get to the 100 PV requirement if you want additional freebies. The perks of being on the loyalty is you have discounted shipping. You're gonna earn points to use on future orders. That's the best deal right there. You get loyalty gifts on your third, sixth, ninth, and year months that you have been with the loyalty program. And they are nice, exclusive, only for being on the loyalty program at the one year mark. You get freebies starting at the 100, at the 100 PV, which will include free shipping at 100. And there's some fabulous oils this month, including citronella. You get exclusive discounted bundles by being a loyalty rewards partner, and you can qualify to receive referral bonuses. It's just the tip of the iceberg of what's available with the entire community of people that we have that are willing and ready to have you come along and join us on this journey with Young Living. And above everything else, I want to give you a heartfelt thank you for coming. Gardening is very near and dear to my heart, and I'd like to share ways to improve the gardening experience it's an honor and a privilege to do so. And being deeply passionate, I believe that we all deserve better health and wellness. And that applies to every aspect of our life, including our gardening. We gotta do what we love to do, folks. So I hope you're blessed by the class tonight. And if you've learned something new, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And if you have any questions, I'm ready for questions or comments. Awesome, well, thank you so much for sharing and we're gonna end the recording and now we will do the fun comments live.